Parsha's Bullock. In this Parsha we see a human being that's full of contradictions. This human being is Bilam, the, the, the Torah says about Bilam that he was Yodea Das Elyon. He reached the highest levels. He knew the knowledge of, of the Most High, of Hashem. Chazal tell us that he reached the level of prophecy of Moshe Rabbeinu. As it says in Chazal, for Leikom Novi Oid Be Yisrael Kamosha, no other Navi, no other prophet, was reached the level of Moshe. Be Yisrael um, in, in Klal Yisrael, there was no, never a prophet that reached the level of Moshe Rabbeinu. Avro Be'umei Sa'elam Kam. But in the nations of the world, there was somebody who was the level of Moshe Rabbeinu, Umanu, Umanu, Umanu Bilam. Who was he, Bilam? Bilam reached the level of Moshe Rabbeinu. Could we fathom the great levels of prophecy that he reached? He knew Das Elyon, he knew the knowledge of the Most High, and he reached the level in prophecy of Moshe Rabbeinu. On the other hand, he, in his own personal life, he was the lowest of low. Chazal tell us that he, that during the day he rode on his donkey, that was his vehicle of transportation, but Ishus Balaiwa, at night, he was intimate with his, with his donkey. And the question is, how could a person that reached level, such a prophet, such a, such a high level, how could he possibly sink to such a low level of being the lowest of low? How could it be? should be impossible for a prophet who reached the highest of levels to sink to the lowest of levels that a person can imagine. This is a difficult question. But perhaps we can have some insight into how this works. From a well-known from another short chazal that says, Roa so shifcho al hayom, mashalei ro yecheskel ben buzia kohen. When they went through that yamsuf, when they, when the sea split, and Klausra walked through that um, split sea, the shifcha, the maidservant, the one who until now was cleaning floors and mopping floors reached the high, such a high level that even the holy prophet Yecheskel ben Buzi did not reach. They looked at the heavens and they said, This is my, my God. This is my God. Sort of to say that they pointed their finger to that they sort of were on such a level that they saw God, whatever that means, they were on a tremendously high level. Yechezkel ben Buzi did not reach that level. What happened to these maidservants after they walked through the Yamsuf, after they split the sea? They came back and they continued mopping the floors. Now, what is the difference between these maidservants where they just um, saw what they saw at the incredible event of, of Kriyas Yamsuf? But afterwards, right after they walked through the Yamsuf, they were back, back in business again, 
mopping floors. Whereas Yechezkel ben Buzi, HaKoyen, did not reach their level, but he remained the prophet that he always was. What is the difference between the two? Comes along my reign no more and I'm going to Chaim Shmulevich Zechat Tzadik Lebrocha and he teaches us the difference between them. That the Shifcha Al Hayom did not sweat to reach their level. They did not have to beat the Yetz Sahara to get to the level of holiness that they reached. It was given to them, it was granted and given to them as a gift from God. Whereas Yechezkel ben Buzi, Yechezkel ben Buzi, Akoyen, the holy prophet, he had to earn it. He had to be the Zayt Sahara. He had to Sahara. He had to learn Torah. He had to. He, that's lasting. When a person has to do that, then that holiness is lasting. When a Shifcha al Hayam, when this maidservant was given a gift from Hashem of holiness, of greatness, that's not lasting. Holiness has to be earned. You have to fight the Eight Sahara. It's a blessing to fight the Eight Sahara. When you fight the Eight Sahara and beat it, it gets you to the highest places. And that, perhaps, is the secret to understand the contradictions by Bilam. Bilam did not have to earn the levels that he reached, the high, very high levels. It was granted to him, just like it was granted to the Shifchal Hayam. It was not lasting. And for Bilam, even while he had it, but during the day he was one person, and at night he was... He was intimate with his with his with his donkey. So what we have to learn from this is that you know people think you know what do I need the eight sahara for? Boy, I'd be better off without it. The eight sahara is trying to get me to sin. No, the eight sahara is trying to get us to sin, but we have to exert effort and work hard to overcome him, and that will reach us. That will bring us to the highest levels of kedusha. Working and hurrying and and working very well, very hard to reach our level, to do chesed, to be kind, to watch what we say. All this is part of the struggle of of, of attaining greatness. We should be zeicher to this. Amen. V'yamin.